What I love about this book, I mean, just for everyone who's interested, it's a fantastic book if you're beginning. It's not a technical book, right? But it, it gives people a career path. And one of the things you've got right at the end, which is kind of like where we, what we're talking about right now, is getting employed as a pen tester. So you've given people a whole roadmap from like how to start skills that are required and how to end up getting a job. But I mean, let's just jump straight there, like getting a job, because a lot of people uh, would be interested in that portion as well. And what's interesting about what you've just said is it's social media and the fact that you've networked, right, that have got you a lot of your roles. Definitely. And one of the things I advise and, and anyone that's trying to get into the industry is network on LinkedIn, uh, different conferences, connect with people because Cy was, uh, I got recruited from someone I knew that I met at a conference, Ira Winkler. Uh, Ira and I connected, we met each other in 2021. We've been connected on LinkedIn and Twitter, but we met at a conference and they had, a, and he wanted to recruit me over because he's doing an evangelist type role and saw the value and brought me over. So the networking, uh, my job as Psycognito was through networking. Uh, my second pen testing job was through networking. My third pen testing job was through networking. And what's happened, a lot of this was because of my LinkedIn profile going to physical meetups, but the more conference speaking I started doing, writing the book and podcasting, the more connections I made. And we're in a, a time now that's kind of the, I guess, the peak or just kind of an area where content creation is so huge for people that want to get into the industry because I've seen people that had no prior experience, but they had a YouTube channel. They're doing walkthroughs on Hack the Box or Try Hack Me. They're demoing different uh, attacks on vulnerable VMs like Metasploitable. And so potential employers are basically, it's like a technical interview. They're seeing your thought process, how you do things, seeing your physical skills. And this may be something that normally uh, you would get an interview. They would set you up with a, a vulnerable environment to perform a pen test against. But if you can do this through video, you can write about it. I've seen people at our local DEF CON groups. A young man was a recent college grad. He did a talk on malware analysis and a hiring manager from Citibank was in the office, in the in the audience, saw that presentation, asked for his resume, and they got a job because that's he great. displayed those technical skills. And that's one of the things, you know, you can, people can do this on their own YouTube channel. If, you know, video is not your thing, you don't have to be on camera. If you're shy, you can, you can do writing, you can write stuff on medium, talk about walkthroughs and different tools and build this content. There's so many people that came out of content.